<laughs> Alright, looks like we're going to be having PGM versus Sergio any minute now. Are these guys in a battle? Not yet. That is a okay. I'm looking forward to this one. Definitely looking forward to this one. Oh shit, he's in a battle. Alright, they're getting started, it looks like. Uh, thank you, Sergio, for putting that in the wrong channel. <laughs> thank you for disregarding the live Battle Wings channel. Oh, well, at least they're battling. Alright, as you can see, this is the first seed and the 16th seed we're about to watch battle. Uh, we'll go on PGM side. So we like to be on the side of the winner, am I right? Let's see who joins. Yeah, that's good. That's a good idea. We'll see who joins before we turn the timer on. Um, so yeah, these guys, I don't know if these guys have ever battled before. If they did, it would have been back in like 2010, 2011. I, I doubt they've even battled before, so I have no record to go off of. Um... Obviously, PGM the favorite. I mean, PGM is just an absolute legend at the game, an absolute monster, frankly. Uh, you know, probably has a positive win record on everyone who he's played in this tournament. Like, oh, Cam, Cam says that he's betting on Surge. Okay, Cam says in the chat, I'm betting on Surge. Do what the Cody Carls would. <laughs> Cheer. Yeah, give me, give me them cheers. <laughs> Yee hee. Yee hee indeed. Yeah, I think I'm going to bet on PGM, but, I mean, Sergio could make the upset. Like I said, there's no data to really go off of. Uh, yeah, this is probably Yeah, PGM, you know, absolute monster at the game. But, I don't really know anything about Sergio, and I saw him play a game of Gen 4 the other day, and he was looking kind of hot. Yeah, keep giving me them cheers, Cam. <laughs> maybe, one, maybe one day I'll be a Twitch affiliate like Cody Carls, and I can get all those cheers, all those bits. Looking at their leads here, though, pretty standard stuff. We got Empoleon and Tyranitar. I would assume the Tyranitar is Scarf. But I, I don't think uh, PGM's going to just let it rip with the with like a superpower or something right here. Okay, so rocks rocks from both. They're both going to get the rocks up. That's That's about what I would expect. That makes sense. Can I get some? Can I get a little music? It's a little, it's a little quiet when it's just me up in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure it doesn't overpower my voice. All right. Uh, yeah. Looks like they're fully in this shit. Yeah. Stealth Cox, turn one. Pretty standard. Who is Camelot? Twelve twenty-three. I have no idea who that is. Yeah, I mean, any upset could happen. We haven't really had an upset yet, but, I mean, unless you count Okami. <laughs> hey, I, I swear Okami got saved with that battle. But this would be a crazy upset to see. Wow, he actually let it rip with the superpower on Dragonite there. Uh, that early in the game, that's kind of like, ooh, you don't want to throw out Dragonite like that, you know? That's interesting that he would do that. Also, superpower on Dragonite in general just seems kind of weird to me. I'm not sure what that coverage is for, because anything that the superpower covers would be kind of covered by... What? What? What is this set? What is this set that he has Draco and... Did I, am I reading this right? Draco Meteor and superpower. Wow. What a set. And he, and he got the crit, which is actually huge. What a set! 
I've never seen this before. I like the crew. I like that uh, Cam is using an alt on Showdown. Adam the Pharaoh. Wow, we're getting we're getting some people in here. People people want to see PGM. <laughs> people want to see people want to see the goat. They want to see the dragon trainer. That's crazy. Relax. <laughs> Who is Adam the Pharaoh? I see. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. I feel like I should. Is it? It's probably someone we know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know who Adam is, Michael. I don't know. Oh, he switched in and got the flash fire. Very smart. Very smart from Sergio. All right, just. Oh, actually called out the Earth Power. Going to die to the Sandstorm though. That was just that was a nice that was a nice call out. Okay, so it's clearly someone from like TCK or something because Cam knows him. So they're out here repping their boy. Okay, what is? Oh, calling out the Toxic. I guess that was just a scout. Because I don't think he revealed that. No, that was his first Toxic. So he wanted to scout for the Toxic. Very good. Going to prevent his, um... Going to prevent the Gyarados from getting crippled. Who the fuck is Vault? Oh, Vault is in Sergio. Yeah, that's who he's here for. That's that's what I figured. I was like, who the fuck is Vault? You know, just the guy battling. <laughs> Let's go, Vault. <laughs> Let's go, Vault. You love to see it. You love to see the people here cheering for their boy. Uh, ooh, that... That substitute, you do not like to see that. You don't like to see that. So that is a dead Heatran. The game is still very competitive at this point because the the Heatran... I mean, sure, PGM's Heatran is still looking pretty good here, but it's going to be forced out by the... Wait, is it forced out by Empoleon? No, it's not forced out by Empoleon. Eh, maybe it is. I don't know if Earth Power will kill it 100. Um... I don't know what his last two mons are. That, I mean, it really sucks that his crest died so early from that crit. Meanwhile, we've got this Gyarados, which I think PGM definitely just wants to keep the Gyarados alive purely for Intimidate, because uh, we don't know if there's a physical sweeper in the back. Brings in the Gengar, very interesting. Going to try to get a Focus Blast off, I would assume, unless this is a substitute set and he's banking on the Switch, because he will outspeed, but... It, it wouldn't make sense for him to set up a sub if he thought he was gonna stay in. So this is either a sub or a focus blast coming here. At this point, what do you do with the Heatran? I I don't know. Like you could just stay in a fire blast, I guess. Just kind of let it rip. No, he's gonna switch out. Uh, probably for the best. Oh, it is a sub. It is subset. Interesting. Unfortunately for him, PGM has Skarmory, which can just whirlwind it out because whirlwind bypasses substitute. So, uh, Sergio can get a good hit off here. Granted, um, I don't think anything's gonna kill unless he gets a crit. Like, even Stab Shadow Ball, even if he gets the Focus Blast, I think he still needs a crit to kill the Skarmory, but he can do a decent amount of damage, but it will get Whirlwinded out. Um, if he brings in the Celebi with the Whirlwind, then that is going to be a tough situation for Sergio here. And it could also be used to reveal his last Pokemon, which would be some very helpful intel for PGM. Okay. Yo, did I not say he needed the crit? And he got it. He got the crit. That is incredible. And suddenly... Dude, that sucks so bad for PGM. Suddenly, Sergio's in a very good position. This is going to be a problem. Dude, he just showed you Focus Blast. Why bring in the T-Tar? He hits it. He hits the second Focus Blast, and he just loses the Tyranitar. Oh, no. This is not looking good for PGM at all. Thankfully, the Sandstorm is up, and it's a Life Orb Gengar. 
but still, man. Um, like, yeah, after two turn, two more turns, the Gengar will be dead. But there's no way he can. There's no way he has a Mon that can cover, like, Empoleon, Celebi, and whatever's left in the back. Especially with these rocks up that are crippling the Gyarados. That's a Shadow Ball. Okay, so the Gyar uh, the Gyarados goes down, but the Gengar will die on the next turn. Okay, Celebi, you just recover here, right? Oh, <gasps> what is this said? Pain split. Okay, that's it. PGM loses. PGM loses game one. Incredible. I definitely would have lost that bet. I would have lost that bet every day of the week. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, does Earth Power kill the Empoleon? <laughs> or is this a bulky? I'm thinking he might be a little bulky. Oh wait, is he choice? Oh, <gasps> burn? Oh damn. If he missed the pump though, oh, he could have done it. He could have done it. Wow. I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, let me just let me just snag that replay. Whew. That game was all over the place. I mean, good shit to Sergio, man. Sure, the hacks was in his favor a little bit, just a little bit, despite the crit Draco on Crest. You know, he hit two Focus Blasts in a row, hit the Hydro Pump, got that crit with um, the Focus Blast on Skarm, so he couldn't get Whirlwinded out. A hack was in his favor, but you know what? He really set up a good position with the Gengar, and the Pain Split prevented the Celebi from being... I mean, the Pain Split basically prevented him from getting fucked over by Celebi. That's, that's literally what happened. Because Celebi would have taken care of the Empoleon, and... Then it would have been a much more even game because the Heatran would have been able to come in and just fire blast. I mean, shoo. that game could have went a number of ways at a number of different moments. Just insane shit, man. So they are going to Gen 5 next. Now this is kind of PGM's Gen, you know, this is like, he was the best in Gen 5, hands down. Wow, bringing the Eviolite Porygon 2, a rather unorthodox choice, I would not expect that. Aside from that, these are pretty standard teams, both of course have Lando T, both have the Fortress, uh, we're seeing the Quiver Dance Volk on Sergio's team, we are seeing the Magic Bounce, probably Dual Screens Espeon. The Cloister I imagine is Shell Smash, I don't know what other Cloister it could be. Uh, gonna be interesting to see what the set on that Terrakion is. Yeah, pretty standard leads here, especially with the Lando T to get the Intimidate off. Not really gonna be an issue for the Rotom here though, this is actually a really good position for PGM. I assume he predicted the Lando lead. Uh, that U-turn indicates to me that... Uh, no, maybe he's not Scarf. He's probably... he, he could be Scarf, but... Maybe he's not. Uh, and PGM gonna Volt Switch out of there. Get some decent damage off from the Fortress. I'm kind of surprised by how much that Volt Switch did. Oh, and now we're in a really dangerous position for Sergio here. If he gets up just one Quiver Dance, that's gonna be all he really needs. <laughs> Why is Cam talking about dueling? What the fuck is going on?
Why do you... people are saying man <laughs> this is this is not my territory dude what is taking so long he's gonna quiver dance so stay or no don't stay explode explode on him explode <laughs> or volt switch okay I mean <laughs> now what do you do here you go cloister I guess <laughs> cloister immense if you have the protect on the wait no 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 you wouldn't have protect on the mess but you hope you live, you hope you live the bug buzz or whatever he hits you with and get the, uh, the moxie. Or this works too. You could potentially, we've been over this, it's Michael. Yeah, I mean, you don't shell smash here. Because he's gonna kill you, isn't he? Does, does this thing live? Does it take a fiery dance or a bug buzz? If it does, you can get the shell smash up, but I don't know. I, I'm not going to run that calc, but I hope that PGM runs that calc. I don't know what his spread is on the Volk, but if it's, you know, if it's max special attack, I think he can one-shot this now. <laughs> yep, once deleted. Okay, PGM wins. <laughs> PGM wins this battle. It's over. <laughs> it's just over. Holy shit. The big clan has fallen. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know why I didn't think to go to Lando, cause uh, Lando, Lando doesn't get one shotted, I don't think. But I guess the issue is it couldn't really do anything. Yeah, I would be scared if of it potentially having Stone Edge. Like the Lando could be running Stone Edge. But I feel like it's not that common. Cam wants Mount Battle from XD or Coliseum. Okay. Mount Battle theme extended. Um. Sure, we will do the XD, right? Mount Battle. Is is this the one? Yeah, this is good music. I like this music. I mean, every every song in these games is. Like Yeah, I mean, PGM's still in a good position, but he definitely could have taken the Earthquake. He would have taken the Earthquake from Lando and gotten a really good hit off on it. But he was afraid of losing the Volk to Stone Edge, which is fair because Volk can sweep the rest of the team, I think. I mean, the Moxie Salamence is what he needs to worry about. I mean, Porygon 2 might be able to wall it. Oh, damn, he's getting both screens up right now. Baton passing, the, I, I guess he just wants to keep the Espeon for a free sack, but I don't know if it's wise to baton pass here. Oh, <laughs> the ice, that was smart, that was smart, because you'd think he'd go into Lando there, predicting the Thunder Dance, or not the Thunder Dance, the Thunderbolt. Okay, getting the Toxic up is huge. Okay, this is, this is super dangerous for both players here. Who's, who's going to keep it together? Dude, I feel like Gen 5 is just... This is Gen 5, man. It's so dangerous. Like, once... Every, every minute, you're just one move away from getting swept. Oh, that, that would explain... I guess he wanted to keep the Espeon alive to potentially be able to get more screens up when these run out. But it's not clear to me that his Espeon's going to have a chance to get a safe switch and to do so. We'll see. Uh, this Porygon 2 is going to die. <laughs> okay, going Lando on the 
Blowing the bug buzz. How much is that gonna do? Jeez, 62! Okay, wow, it's so important that he got that toxic up on bulk. Because that's literally what he has to do. He has to just stall it out. Oh, he carried Giga. He carried Giga. Damn. Okay, so this is Quiver, Bug Buzz, Giga. Last move, probably Fiery Dance. I mean, definitely Fiery Dance. Uh, Giga's not going to do too much there. It will die to the Toxic, and the Reflect runs out. Okay, PGM up, but still in a precarious position. You're not going to see the Lando come in here because it doesn't want to get destroyed by ice beam same same for the salamence most likely even though salamence would outspeed uh with the eviolite yeah that was a safe play just going fortress there uh yeah i guess he doesn't want to bring the espion in just yet oh no yo those late game spikes might cost him the game we know that he's, that he's, we know the Lando does not have Stone Edge. Misses the Fire Blast! He's running Fire Blast instead of Fiery Dance. That sucks. You risk the, ac I mean, you get more power, but you risk the accuracy, as you saw right there. That is a bruh moment. That is indeed a bruh moment. But it won't be too hard for PGM to find another position to get set up, I don't think. Unless unless that uh, Salamence gets a Moxie. I think the Volcarona will be able to find a way back in. Yo, if I'm PGM, i tell you what I'm doing right now. I'm clicking... Where's, where's the ignore spectators button? If I'm PGM, I'm going to right here. I'm hitting ignore spectators. <laughs> I'm hitting ignore spectators. <laughs> Alright, great opportunity for a rapid spin there. You gotta get rid of the entry hazards. Yeah, no, that was the correct move. Because Volcarona is kind of your win condition here. And you don't want that to eat 50% from rocks on entry. Now you just stay in here and sack your fortress so you can get a uh, free switch in. And you're going to get some nice chip on the Lando. Because you can still take another Earthquake. Oh, no, he just... He just... Wow, he, he hit the hard switch... He had a hard switch into Porygon 2 here, gonna threaten the Ice Beam, and because of the Eviolite, there's nothing Lando can do to it. It's just gonna have to... I mean, he has to switch. He either has to sack the Lando or switch at this point. He's gonna U-turn out. Is he gonna sack the Espeon here, or is he going into Fortress? Goes into Fortress, doesn't want to give up the Espeon just yet. PGM predicts the U-turn, gets up the Recover. Now he's sitting in a good position. Looks like there's no way to really confidently deal with this Porygon 2. We know he does not have knockoff on any of these Mons. Uh, so I don't really know how you deal with this. Yeah, losing Cloyster really did hurt Sergio here. I don't know why he went Cloister in that situation. He, he, he literally just threw it away. Okay, nice T-Bolt. Uh, that did a ton. That did 48? Good lord. Oh, it's because he got the special attack boost from his download. Unlucky. Okay, predicts it. Goes into Lando. That would have been raw as fuck if PGM went for the Ice Beam predicting the switch, but it's all good because what's Lando going to do here, right? What does Lando do? He... We know Earthquake doesn't do shit. Alright, now he sacks the Espeon. Oh! Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna get a screen up. Which screen is he gonna pick? He has to pick Light Screen. But even if he gets the... Uh, yeah, he picks the Light Screen, but... Even then, I don't know if, um... This is a good position. Like, yeah, he brings in the Mence and gets a Moxie, but he's still gonna eat an Ice Beam. It won't kill. It won't kill because of the Light Screen, but he's still eating an Ice Beam. <laughs> a boosted Ice Beam from Porygon 2, you know? Outrage, 42. That did 89?! What?! And you live the second Outrage. Oh! Recovers. He gets the turn 3 Outrage. 
Is it gonna recover or ice beam here? Recovers. Very smart. He's gonna wait out the light screen and just wreak havoc on his team. Why did you D dance? What? Oh, no, actually, that makes sense. But, like, that's a Hail Mary. That's a Hail Mary. Please, Ice Beam. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sergio has fully accepted his defeat in this gen. Eats an Ice Beam. <laughs> okay, now he's actually just throwing. Gets up the late game rocks. <laughs> Yeah, he actually just threw. Or not like threw, but he's done. He's over it. Yeah, Ninbuzz has been dead for like half a decade, at least. And gets the crit to finish it off for good measure. Wow. PGM getting upset in the first game, but coming back with a statement in the second game saying, You were playing the Gen 5 Master. Get your skill up and come back. Try again. He said, who do you think I am? Alright, a great back and forth set so far. They're going to Gen 6 next. As they set that up, I'm going to go to the restroom. I will be right back. <laughs> Turned. <laughs> he says sigh, and now they're going into Gen 6. Alright, here we go. Let's see what's happened. Alright, leading with Lando T and Rotom W. Alright, let's take a look at these teams. Oh, PGM's gonna shit on him. <laughs> look at PGM's team comp. Not to say that Sergio's team is bad, it's quite good, but uh, he doesn't He doesn't have an answer for just composition dude like PGM's got a really unbreakable team it seems however I, there are some things that could happen I mean Clefable can wall a lot oh gets the rocks up uh, depend, depending on what some of these sets are there I could see him getting a late game set up and potentially getting a late game sweep we will see though. I, my gut tells me PGM's gonna win this because I mean PGM's just a menace in Gen 6 but, uh, anything can happen. I think this will be pivotal in determining the outcome of the set. Just because Sergio got that Gen 4 game, I think PGM has to win Gen 6 if he wants to safely be able to win this. Because if he loses, he's got to win Gen 7 and 8. 
which it's it's certainly doable. I mean, certainly doable for PGM. He's still probably the favorite to win, even if he loses this, but he's going to have to work really hard, and I just know in the past, PGM hasn't had the best mental game after losing, and I just don't know if he'll be able to... I just don't know if the skill gap between them and the newer gens is large enough to compensate for potential, uh, like, I don't know, potential tilting of PGM if he loses this, if he goes down another game. Both players certainly taking their time, <laughs> putting some thought into this. Okay, switches into the Tyranitar here. Yeah, and PGM just wants to get rid of the rocks because obviously Megazard is going to be his main sweeper. So, good opportunity to just take care of the rocks early. Now, what do you do with T-Tar here? I mean, do you, if you're PGM, do you risk the pursuit trap? Like, do you risk getting pursuit trapped? Yeah, you just toxic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're still going to die in the next turn, but at least you get the Toxic off. Good play for PGM, making the best of a bad situation. Is this... is this music still peeking over me? I think it kind of is. That's crazy. I don't know why my system audio is so loud in the mix. Alright, what do we got? Uh, soft boiled. Oh, 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 he was gonna try to toxic stall him. That's really smart, actually. <laughs> I thought he was getting outsped, but no, he was faster than the Titar. I forgot about that. What the fuck? I didn't know Mew was so fast. I don't know how I forgot about that. Alright, very smart of Surge to uh, U turn out of there. If this is Zard Y, this Keldeo gets uh, solar beamed. Actually, no, it doesn't. It's faster. So PGM has to switch. Eats the Scald. Gets the crit with the Scald. Doesn't even get a burn to synchronize. That really sucks for PGM. The crit plus no burn? Literally the worst outcome for PGM in that situation. I guess the worst uh, outcome would have been staying in with Charizard, right? Yeah, just sacrifices the new. Damn. Cam, you are not the first person to use T-Tar. I regret to inform you. <laughs> I regret to inform you. You did not invent T-Tar. Uh, so the Clef... Clef could give Sergio a lot of trouble. He needs to keep Scizor alive. Which is going to be difficult with Charizard being, you know, such a massive threat. This battle could kind of end up as a stalemate. Alright, getting the rocks up, very good. This Lando obviously coming in to get some sort of physical attack off. Probably a stab earthquake. Yeah, going to the Rotom here, great. Ooh, the knockoff. You definitely don't want the knockoff on Clef. So it was good of him to switch. Um. It sucks to have the lefty the leftovers knocked off of Rotom, but that's not going to affect uh, the game as long term as I think losing them on Clefable would, because you're probably not going to be stalling as much with Rotom. Plus, Rotom does have the pain split. Okay, so again, just keeping the pressure on PGM may be down in terms of Pokemon, but he's just keeping really good positioning and just keeping the pressure on everything that Sergio tries to set up here. He's going to force the Clefable out here because it doesn't want to get hit with a Sludge Wave, and it's he's uh, going to do some hefty damage to basically anything except Caesar if he does go for the Sludge Wave. Now, if he Shadow Balls, the Shadow Balls is just going to 
it's just gonna hurt anything. <laughs> it, well, not not Tyranitar, but you don't want to take toxic damage off of with Tyranitar. Plus, you gotta remember rocks are in play. So if PGM just keeps up this momentum and this pressure, eventually the damage is gonna start to add up. It's just a matter of who can remain patient and play the long game. <laughs> okay, Sergio is insane. He's insane. Only an insane person goes for that T wave. That's insane. Actual insanity. He could have lost his Clefable right there. Easily could have lost it. But instead he chose to T-Wave. Oh, this is Megazord X. Flare Blitz. Burn. Okay, so the good good news is the Clef is basically dead. Does Surge ride on a Parahax and go for the Soft Boiled or Wish or whatever? Or the, yeah, does he go for the Wish here? <laughs> does he go... Well, no, Clef... No, just Clef doesn't die to Burn on this turn, right? I don't think Burn does 13. Moonblast him. Roost. Oh, wait! No, I'm so stupid. The Clefable's Magic Guard. That's why he didn't die. It's Magic Guard. Of course it's Magic Guard. Why would it be anything else? But I just forgot about that. I was like, Burn, he's going to die. All right. That's going to eat that Moonblast pretty well. So what happened there is PGM was going to fake him out with the, the Sludge Wave. He was predicting Sergio to predict the Sludge Wave and go into Scizor. PGM, to keep the pressure on, went Zard, hoping to force the Scizor out. But Surge said fuck all of that and just stayed in and T-Waved and basically invalidated the Charizard with the T-Wave. And he got rocks up somewhere there, which is insane. He just destroyed this Charizard then just, by just risking his cleft. I mean, he... <laughs> I gotta hand it to him. Those were some ballsy plays, and I think they're gonna pay off a lot in the long term. Okay, good thing for PGM, he hits the Focus Blast. If he had missed that Focus Blast, it would have been over. Gengar would have gotten crunched, and it, it just would have been a wrap. It would have been a wrap if he missed that Focus Blast. Yeah, I mean, at that point, you kind of have to just take the knockoff with Gengar. No, I don't think that was a mistake. I think you have to take that. Why go Zard here, though? I would go... Maybe I wouldn't go Rotom. <laughs> Maybe I would not go Rotom. Does he... Oh, he gets the Dragon Claw off, but it's not enough. Is he hoping to go into his own Lando and clear things up? I mean, it doesn't seem like this Lando has HP ice, otherwise he would have already went into it. Yeah, why not just do this in the first place is what I'm wondering. Misses the pump, that sucks. Lottie could do all kinds of shit now. Lottie can just... No, 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 it can't sweep because Clefable. <laughs> but Scizor handles Clefable just fine. Did he predict the Clef switch? He... Oh, man, he predicted the Clef switch. This is not looking good. This is not looking good for PGM at all. He could still do it. It's just going to require him to make some hard reads here. He needs to get rid of Scizor and keep Clef alive. Now how does he do that? I have no idea. I would go Rotom Wash as well. Yeah, it only did 5 with the BP. Now you Hydro... Or no, you Volt Switch. You Volt Switch into your Lando. Yes, he's very lucky the Clef does not have Flamethrower. That's absolutely right, Michael. <coughs> I know Flamethrower Clef isn't as popular now, but in Gen 6, I think it was a fairly popular set. Yeah, did he Volt Switch? Or he, he Pain Splitter? Okay, that, that works too, actually. 
Is he gonna hydro pump here though? That's the question. I'd pump. Or Volt. Uh, yeah, Volt switch into Lando. Okay, is Lando. Does it have HP ice? Or does it have. St no, Stone Edge wouldn't do that much. Why did he. Okay, it's U turn. It's U turn. I was literally just about to say, is it U turn? <clears throat> but he didn't lead with it, which made me think maybe it wasn't U turn. Okay, really good stuff here. PGM is making some of the necessary plays to come back from this. He's definitely at a deficit, but if he gets rid of Vladi, he's in a good position. Because I think Vladi was his biggest worry for his Rotom. The Keldeo on the back is a threat, don't get me wrong, but... Wait, what's his Rotom at? 52 after Stealth Rocks, it's going to be below 50. This cleft? Yeah, no, he just needs to give it a scissor, man. <clears throat> yeah, if you're Surge, you just sack your Lottie. Don't, don't overthink it, Surge. Just sack Lottie. Get your free chip damage with the Surf. Actually, no, don't do that, because <laughs> he's he's gonna predict that and get up a wish. Okay. Or soft boiled, soft boiled wish, whatever. I knew he was going to get the recovery because he knew Lottie would die from the life orb. Now the Clefable is sitting pretty. He's going to bring in the Scizor and force it out. However, he knows he's going to switch now. So if this is a Swords Dance set, it could be it could be curtains uh, for for PGM if he gets an SD up. The thing is, I don't know if this is a Swords Dance set, because he didn't do the SD when Clef switched out last time, and he he forced that switch, so... Maybe he was afraid of T-Wave? I don't know. <coughs> Brings in the Scissor, as expected. PGM here just basically has to decide whether to go Lando or Rotom. Probably gonna go Rotom to eat the BP. I mean, I would not scout for SD here with Clef. I would, I mean, he could go for a ballsy play like Sergio did with the uh, T-Wave on Charizard. I mean, if he does something like that and it works, he's a legend. It, that play is just way too ballsy to make when you're this close to bringing the game back from a deficit. Yeah, go Rotom, that's the safe play. Oh, and it is SD! It is SD! He was hiding it! Okay, does Rotom have Wisp? He needs... No, it doesn't have Wisp. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has Wisp. Alright, he gets the Pain Split off. How much is his BP... Or U-Turn? Wait, why did U-Turn out? Why did he U-Turn? I'm so confused. He should have just stayed in, right? Oh, no! He was worried of getting Pain Splitted again. What? No, he had BP. Why wouldn't he BP? BP would do 6. He had, a, he had an SD up, so he should have BP'd. Then waited until the Lando came in to get out of there, right? He could have U-turned the Lando. Eh, no, he was at 55. He could have died from Earthquake. But he still could have just hard switched out of Lando into his Lando, right? Sacks his Lando. Keldeo comes in. PGM has to go into his Lando now. Yeah, you just go into your Lando. He may not have anything to hit him with, though. You turn. Oh no, he goes Clef. I mean, Earthquake is gonna do a lot to Clef, though. Unless he's gonna try to set up. Oh, he loses the lefties. What's he gonna set up? Or he just Moon Blasts. Okay. Loses his lefties. Staying in T-Wave. <laughs> Did he do it? I'm done. <laughs> Goat. This game is crazy! <laughs> this game is crazy! Oh, my heart is pounding for both of these players.
Dude, if you if you PGM, you gotta switch. Go Lando. Please don't stay in. He's he's not gonna get hard pair. He's not gonna get the full pair on turn one. And even if he does, you get a free Lando switch in. He has to bring in Keld on an earthquake. Just go go Lando. Don't get greedy here, okay? Maybe he should get greedy. Okay, no, no, no. Goes land. I was like, oh, maybe. Maybe it could work. But no, the Intimidate. Oh, my goodness. Yo, go Clef on the Keld. Go Clef on the Keld. Go Clef on the Keld. Dub double into Clefable on the Keldeo switch in. That would be the rawest shit. <laughs> PGM, if you're watching, do not take any of my advice. <laughs> I know the para worked out for you, but don't take any more of my advice. Oh my gosh, dude. This battle is amazing. <laughs> dude, this is not the wash that the seating would have suggested. This is... Okay, nice EQ. Oh, he gets the SD! Oh, that's really unfortunate for PGM. How many EQs does he need? He needs... Alright, he needs two. Alright, he needs... One more. Oh, damn. One para? Okay, it's a wrap. How much does it do to Keld? 67? Yep. Do you, do you just sack Lando here? I would just sack Lando, go in and get the Moonblast with Clef, and then... Oh wait, he outsped the Keld? What? Alright, so this is Scarf. It's Scarf. Yeah, the U-turn kind of gave it away, but I wasn't sure. Wow. Holy shit. The fact that PGM brought that back is just a testament to how insanely solid he is as a player. I'm, I'm speechless. The Thunder Wave. I, I, did I call it? I called that Thunder Wave, bro. It kind of is a joke, but it ended up being with one PGM the battle. Wow. PGM is now up 2-1 in the set. Oh, we got the Mirror B music? Hey! Yes, one of the best songs ever right here. <clears throat> oh, man. That battle. <laughs> that got my heart pumping, dude. So I think they are going Gen 7 next. This will be interesting to see, as I haven't even really seen PGM play Gen 7. Man, what a set. I'm kind of hoping Sergio wins Gen 7, just so we see Game 5. Here. What are the teams? I like. Okay, so I like the comp of PGM's team. I like seeing Blacephalon, except not really. Like, I like seeing Blacephalon, I just hate playing against Blacephalon. Now, for uh, Sergio's team, I really like seeing the Kirim B, 
like seeing Lopany. Amoongus I hate seeing, I hate playing against Amoongus. <laughs> I basically hate anything that has Regenerator. PGM leading with the Chomp. Interesting choice. Makes me think. Probably Scarf. Yep. Gonna eat the HPIs from Lando. Uh, Lando, of course, a good lead because of Intimidate, as we covered in the previous gens. You know, Lando T is just, you know, it's just the GOAT Pokemon. <laughs> Dude, Michael just got beat down. <laughs> Rocker said, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Just a bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, so Chomp eating that HP ice, really not good for PGM. But, um, at least it was able to take less than half. It took 49 exactly, which is, which is good. But, uh, you know, having the rocks up is nice, but I'm not sure how big of a deal it's going to be. It's not really going to be particularly irritating for any of... Uh, Sergio's Mons except for Kieran B. But he is able to bring in the tempo if you need to get Misty Terrain up and um, yeah there, he doesn't really have a hard counter for Tapu Fini. He's probably just gonna bring in the Amoongus and try to stall it out but I don't think that's gonna work. Or maybe he'll bring in a slow bro. He'll probably actually go slow bro. I think it's PGM, what you actually really want to get set up is your Mega Pinsir. Because that's just kind of going to wreak havoc on this whole team. Especially if you can kill the Lando. Oh, the Amoongus does come out. Okay. That works. Um, now the question is how familiar... Oh, he predicted that. I was going to see how familiar is he with the effects of Misty Terrain, but it did not matter. The Ferrothorn comes in. This is not Gen 4. This is not Gen 5. You cannot put Ferrothorn to sleep with the Spore Sun straight up. PGM acutely aware. Oh, but he does have the HP Fire. Ferrothorn, you know, too bulky. Still getting some free entry hazards up. So now that he's got a layer of spikes, uh, there's... The entry hazards are going to start to become a problem. I'm not sure who the defogger is here. Maybe I should know. I, I don't know who the, uh, the defogger on Sergio's team is. Okay. Another set of spikes. Very ballsy from PGM, but uh, overall fairly safe. Like, yeah, I guess it doesn't really bother him too much if he had eaten another HP fire there. Because it doesn't seem like his Ferrothorn is necessary to, to wall out anything on the team here. Excellent game sense going into the Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin Garchomp, knowing that the fake out was coming. Just to maximize the chip damage on that Lopunny. What does he have? Oh yeah, he's... Oh wait, he's not Scarf. Wait, he's not Scarf. I guess even with, if he's just max speed Jolly, he would have outsped the Lando. I'm just used to Gen 5 where you see the Garchomp come out and Stealth Rocks and uh, <laughs> then it's like, oh, he's, you know he's Scarf, right? But no, that was not Scarf, that was Rocky Helmet. But at least we know the Lando then is definitely not Scarf. So that raises the question, what move is he? He might be Z, he might be Z move. Uh, Pinscher's gonna quick attack here to deal with the low bunny. He will finish it off, but he's not going to be able to set up with the Pinsir, I don't think. I think it's still too early in the game, and Lando aggravates it too much. Yeah, because Lando comes with Intimidate, so it's like, meh. Yeah. So he can't sweep with Pinsir yet, but it's nice to have Lopony dead.
and there's really nothing here that can do serious, to, to like seriously threaten the Ferrothorn now. So that is going to be a hard wall, and you're going to be able to get Iron Barbs on his physical attackers as well. Yeah, the Lando switch, pretty obvious there. He's going to want to get out of there with the Pinsir. I, I personally, I think I'd just go Ferrothorn. Just to scout what he's going to do. If he U-turns, you get the Iron Barb damage. If he uh, Stone Edges, it doesn't do shit. Goes Lele. Uh, if he U-turned... Okay, no, he went for HP Ice. Okay. <laughs> if he had U-turned, he would have been the GOAT. <laughs> but no, he just went for HP Ice. Which is fair. I mean, the pinch Mega Pinsir is frail. Um, yeah, I was worried that Earthquake was going to kill. Kind of surprised it didn't. Tapu Lele, very frail, but as you saw from that Moonblast damage, certainly a formidable special attacker. Is this Specs? If it's Specs, he's gonna have to switch out. If it's not, he's gonna Psy Shock it. Um, wait, yeah, so that, definitely Specs. I'm surprised Specs didn't do more. I was thinking maybe. Maybe Scarf? because he outsped the Lando. But, uh... Interesting. So the Lando must have some defensive EVs. So I, I feel like Specs Lele should have done more. Because that was Stab Moonblast. And now they're at a standstill. Ferrothorn versus Amoongus. I mean, let's be real. If you're a rocker, you just switch out to get the regenerator health on your Amoongus. If you're PGM, you want to go... Oh... Okay. Predicting the HP fire goes Blacephalon. Kind of surprised that Surge would stay in to do the HP fire because he already showed that it's really not that useful. Like it does a decent amount, but it wasn't gonna kill the Pharaoh. Oh, and he gets a substitute with Blacephalon. This might be the end for our, our good friend Sergio. This might be it. Yep, Z move. It's a dead slow, bro. Uh, the beast boof the beast boost of course gives him special attack. Oh man, this is a oh ho, 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 ho. this is a very rough position for Sergio. What does he have that outspeeds? Oh, yeah, he has Gren. So you come in with Gren and DP. Um, but then you die. So you have to come with Gren, get the Dark Pulse. <sighs> what the fuck do you do after that? <laughs> I think it's just over. I think you just lose. Like I said, I hate playing against Blacephalon. Look at that flamethrower! Oh no. Oh no. It's a wrap. It's over. Unless this thing is Scarf. Unless he's Scarf and he can break the sub. And then bring in Gren to clean it up. I think that's a wrap. That's a big wrap. Oh shit, Josh is here. Let me move him in. Hey, what's good? It was fine, it was fine. Sergio and PGM. PGM is up 2-1. They are currently playing Gen 7, and it's looking like PGM is about to clinch the set. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's got this Blacephalon set up behind a substitute, and uh, there's really no way that Sergio can break the sub here, and yeah, it's, it's not looking good for him. Is that an Ashker Ninja or a normal Ninja? I would say it's probably an Ashker Ninja. Ashker Ninja can sweep this if he can break through that. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think he can, though, because he'll die in one hit from Blacephalon, and the only move he has that I think is going to break the sub <laughs> is, like... Or, no, if he has Water Shirk and... Maybe... Water Shirk can just kill it. If it's... if it's, it, it depends on what set this is. If it's Ashker Ninja, and it's not Choice, even Choice can do a fuck ton of damage. Yo, let's if see. It's not true, if it's Life Orb, Ashgar Ninja, he wins. I I think he can. Yeah, I think he well, can. No, he's, even if he kills this Blacephalon, he's 
All he has to do is like bring in Ferrothorn and just kind of wall it. Oh, he went for the Dark Pulse, so he didn't yeah. have Water Shuriken. Yeah. And that's a wrap. Well, that concludes the set between PGM and Sergio. Thank you for joining us, Josh. Yeah, well, I came, I literally got home like 10 minutes ago. I was like, oh shit, I got a ping. Oh shit, someone's playing. Dude, this set was insane. Uh, started off with a crazy Gen 4 battle that Sergio clutched out, and then PGM just had the clutch factor throughout the rest of the set, and then just kind of fucked him up in Gen 7. Oh shit, okay. So there it is, folks. Uh, everybody who did prediction brackets, I know we were all scared in the beginning when Sergio clutched that game, but uh, fear not, the first seed is still in with a solid 3-1.